You don't understand anything about six jobs origin skill, do you? Level with me. You just press that button and go, ha <laughs> damage number gabur. That's fine. No judgment from me. I'm here to help, even if you are a Papega that can't read, so you need a video to teach you. I'm gonna keep this simple. Every class has a bind of some sort. This bind puts a debuff like you see here on a boss. We can also note its pink color, which helps us know that this is a basic bind, as I like to call them. Now for many classes, this is just your fifth job Erda bind, but other classes like Kana have a bind in their kit. Make no mistake, they all share the same pink bind debuff on the boss. This debuff shows when the next basic bind can be used, which is 100 seconds from when the bind begins. When the debuff is gone, the boss can be bound again? No problem! How is this information important for your 6 job skill? All 6 job skills are absolute binds. They have a different debuff indicator, which is purple, and they have a different cooldown on the boss. To put this simply, if you're not maximizing the bind times, you're missing out on a full 20 seconds of bound DPS. Now I'm going to explain to you how you should be organizing these bind timers with your parties, or even just for your solo content, so you're getting maximized bind durations. To start, you need to decide if you're starting with your basic bind or your origin bind. I'm not here to tell you what each specific class prefers or what is the most meta. Honestly, I just start with my origin bind every time because it feels right to me. Then, when that debuff timer hits 90, that will mean the enemy has been bound for the full 10 seconds. That is when you need to do your basic bind to maximize stacking it. Now, if you're starting with basic bind, just flip what I said, okay? The timers are the same. For solo content, that is all you need to do. But for party content, there are two more things that need to be organized. Firstly, you need to decide who is going to initiate the bind in your party and what kind they're going to be using. If you're in a pug, a party finder, it will probably be easiest to just start with the origin bind, the absolute bind. Because most people just pop their skill immediately for the burst and you don't have to worry about it accidentally getting stacked. Then make sure that somebody does the basic bind when that timer hits 90. Additionally, and most importantly, if you are in a party, you need to decide how to stagger your binds. If your party is a three minute party, one person needs to hold their origin skill for the next bind. Origin skills have a cooldown. This ensures that every three minutes when you do your burst, you're getting a full 20 second bound burst in. If your party is a two minute party, two people will need to hold origin skill and save for the two minute and four minute binds. From there, you rotate between the three. Hopefully this guide helps some of you understand a bit better the usefulness of origin skills and the importance of staggering your binds. I've seen a lot of pugs use basic binds and origin binds at the same time. And just thinking about the 10 seconds of lost burst time, it, hurt, it hurts my soul. It hurts my soul. With that being said, guys, that's going to be it for me today. If you liked the video, please remember to like, subscribe, share the video with someone who might find it useful, or just show love however you do. And I'll see you guys next time.